that comes down to really understanding what the job is. And, and the best way to do that is by, by really understanding that job description and the core competencies that are required for that job. And then coming into the interview prepared to speak to each one of those competencies for, for one, your experience and performing that particular, you know, whatever, whatever that job requirement is. They'll talk about your experience performing that, but then also be, be prepared to perform it. So some, some employers may even break out a particular software. Like if you're a, a project specialist within the oil and gas industry, one of the top softwares is a Primavera P6 for scheduling. So perhaps even making sure that you're prepared to, to open up that software and run it. And I know that sounds kind of rudimentary, open up a software, but that in itself is is actually, I've, I've had that happen externally with candidates that were going into that position. The employer asked them to open up the software. They were unable to. So just making sure that you've actually got the competencies that are required in that position and being prepared to prove it in real life, even if they break out a computer and ask you to, to open up you know, particular software or Excel and run, you know, run a formula or review some data, just being ready to do that. I think one thing to bear in mind when you're doing competency answers is you have to explain really clearly what the situation was, how you applied yourself and demonstrated that particular skill, and then what the outcome was. And it's important to break it down into those sort of sections when you're answering, because sometimes interviewers will score you on the way you've answered each section. Uh, so make sure you you break it down and it's quite a structured answer. Thank <laughs> you.